Welcome to the DLA DAO YouTube channel. I am one of the developers of DLA DAO, Ben or Framework Fortune. We are going to jump into how to get connected to the new DLA DAO. We've decided to move away from the previous DAO due to some issues, and we are now on the Dezos blockchain as well as the DLA token being for sale so no matter if you are a first time watcher of this video and you're looking to learn about DLA DAO if you're one of our previous token stakers getting the new DLA token swap one of our EVIO clan members who get DLA tokens as part of our rewards program or maybe some other rewards program when no matter whatever the situation is to interact with DLA DAO this is what this video is for in the description the link tree will be there for the DAO links and all you simply have to do is just click enter DLA DAO here or if you just go to DLA.org which is also in the link tree but you can just type it in from right where you're sitting at the moment pretty simple you can come to the website learn about what we've got going on and then Press enter DLA DAO there and it will take you to the DAO. So either from directly from the link tree or directly from the website will get you there. If you're a Discord member, of course, those links will be there as well. I'm going to go ahead and close this one. So this is our DAO built on the Dezos blockchain. You can see currently the token price, 25 cents. Now the way Dezos works and uh, the launching application on Dezos for DAOs, DAO, comma DAO. There's not liquidity pools, and there's actually not smart contracts on the Desos blockchain. In my opinion, it's quite ahead of its time the way everything works. So I'm still learning and researching all I can, but so far, everything about Desos is amazing, and this process is actually a very simple process. So. How do you interact with the DAO? The first thing you're going to need to do, of course, if you don't have a MetaMask already, you need to create a MetaMask. There's videos for it, plenty of videos out there. Very simple if you've ever created any crypto wallet. Most people already have MetaMask if you're in the crypto world, but if you're not, no worries. You shouldn't have any issues. If you do, reach out to us in the DLA Discord and we can help you through that. I'm going to be using this testing wallet because I've already set up the DAO wallet and my own personal wallet on Dezos through MetaMask. So once you have your MetaMask ready, when you come to the DAO page, just click on Login. When you sign up for the first time, don't sign up with your MetaMask first. I know it shows it first, but don't do that. You'll be going backwards. It works a lot easier if you go from signing up for an account first with Google or whatever email you want to use. I'm just going to choose one of my random ones. And then, of course, you will get your code here. This is your seed phrase, same as when you create the MetaMask. Make sure you save this seed phrase. Don't show it to anybody. I'm never going to use this account, so and I'm, this will be blurred out anyway. But once you get this prompt, and if you're on Brave, make sure that you have the Brave browser shields down as it can cause some problems. But... You can get Deso for free, and it's not a whole lot, just by entering your phone number. One way to get Deso over here for gas fees, because this blockchain does require Deso for the gas fees, is you can buy it directly on Coinbase, if you have Coinbase, and send it to your Deso's wallet once you have this set up. You don't have to send it to MetaMask or anything. You can send it directly from Coinbase to your Deso wallet. So we're going to skip this part. You can enter your phone there and get that free gas fees, but it's still not going to be quite enough for what you need. So you are going to have to get a little bit of Desos, not a whole lot, to start your actual profile on here. This is a social blockchain. So once you've done that, now we can go to my settings here, and you're going to want to create a profile. You can see right here that creating a profile costs 0 .001 Deso. So around less than a penny, not a big deal. Once you get that free Desos, you can click right here on My Wallet and it will show you. And actually clicking on My Wallet is going to be the easiest way to get Desos. So this is your Desos wallet. It's not connected to your MetaMask yet, so you have to connect it. We'll click Buy Desos. 
This is where you can send Ethereum, Bitcoin, Solana, any of these three. These other three are in the works, including Dogecoin. But you could send those from any exchange to your Deso wallet. But if you just buy Desos on Coinbase, you can just copy your wallet here and send it to this address directly from Coinbase for very, very low fees in Deso. So now I'm logged into my account, Framework Fortune. It looks just like a social media app, Reddit or anything like that. And when you create that first profile, this is what it'll look like. You can upload your photo, your username, all this stuff. And then when you hit save changes, that is when it's going to trigger the gas fees. So all this is going directly onto the Deso blockchain. That's why you're paying the gas fees. So when you press approve, that's going to trigger your MetaMask if you haven't connected it yet. All your profile and details will be right here. And if you want, you could even create your own DAO here. So once you've got this all hooked up, you're on the Desos chain, you have your profile, you've got a little Deso in your wallet. If you're someone from DLA DAO who's getting a token swap, you were a previous holder, previous staker, you will need this wallet address to add to the form that will be in the Discord, or if you're getting one of the new airdrops, it will be this wallet address here to receive your DLA token airdrop. So this is what you'll want to send when those forms are live in the DLA DAO Discord. So now that you're all set up and ready, you can just go up to the top here, put in DLA, and you'll see DLA DAO right there. It pops up, and then you can follow us. You can share. You can also directly message us, which will pop open the back end. If you're getting the airdrop or the token swap, you already know what you need to do. If you're interested in buying the token or selling the token, you would press Trade DAO Coin. And at the moment, because we just launched on here, we do have our 75 million initial liquidity supply for the marketplace that is in the original DLA tokenomics. It still applies. And those are for sale at 75 million at 25 cents right now, a token. Now, these are directly for sale from the DAO. So all these tokens bought at this price will go to the DAO for funding and creating more scholarships and programs and other applications that we have planned. But when more people are interacting, more people are buying and selling and trading the token, you know, people are welcome to sell under what the price is of the initial supply. So if, ever, if the market decides that you know, the price should be lower than 25 cents and there's a bunch of people selling it for lower than that and people are buying it for that, well, then you can get it cheaper from that. But for now, there's where we settle that as far as this initial market supply for the public to be able to purchase. So this could always be changed by Dow proposals if people are not buying it or it's too high of a price. But I cannot solely change this myself. That would have to be by vote by the DAO. As at DLA DAO, we stay as extremely decentralized as possible. So if you did want to buy, you could go through a market order. Or if you want to sell, you could go through a sell market order. And that's going to fill you immediately. You might not get the price you want if there's a whole lot of buyers and sellers Right now, there's nobody selling because we just launched. There's just the initial token supply there. Or you can do a limit order, which you may not get your order filled, but it will give you the exact price. So this is, is true in the stock market, crypto, everything. The difference between a market order and a limit order is just one small thing. The market order does not guarantee your price, but it guarantees your order will get filled. Limit order doesn't guarantee your order will get filled but guarantees the price so that's what you got to think about when you're purchasing no matter what it is uh, whether it be stocks cryptos anything this is not anything dadao.io built on deso this is just how market limit orders work but you can do it either way to buy or sell so if you want to sell your tokens when you get some from an airdrop whatever the case may be as we're moving forward then you're welcome, of course, to sell them for lower. If somebody buys them for lower than this price, then hey, that will probably bring the token price down, but that's free market and that's how it's supposed to work. So 
we are not trying to limit the price at 25 cents. It's more of just a precautionary liquidity funding so we don't have somebody come in and just weld the whole project out of nowhere, right? Besides purchasing, earning, airdrops, however you get the DLA token, you can come to the DAO and you can start becoming a part of the proposals. So to create a proposal, you will have to have some, DA some DLA token. And if you don't have any DLA token, you're not going to be able to create proposals. And that's to keep proposals from just being crazy or spam or anything like that. But all you would do is put a title. Let's say, for example, we want to start scholarships for Alluvium, for example. There's no anything to start scholarships for Alluvium. This is just an example. And then you could put in here immediate launch, whatever, of Alluvium scholarship program with your details. You do want to put a lot of details and stuff if you're going to create a proposal just because... For the proposal to pass, a lot of people are going to have to vote on it, right? All the DLA token holders will have to vote on it. So you're going to want to let them have as much information as possible to be able to decide on their vote, right? If you want to get it passed. But this is just an example. And then you can add your poll options and we just do yes, uh, no for this one. And then we could do abstain. So when you create the proposal, it will show up right under this tab for creative proposals. And if it doesn't automatically show up over here, we will post it in the feed as well. You can also see all the holders. You can see this is us, the four devs, me, Framework Fortune, Stocks and Chops, which is Stock Muncher, our HR dev, uh, HH here, Hal, this is our IT dev, and then a lot of you know iRooster as he is the asset management team dev, and this is our core dev team. As you get tokens or anybody else gets tokens, if you don't have a profile and want to remain anonymous, you can, but it will show you as a token holder and just show the part of the wallet address. But if you do have a profile, then it will show you directly on here. So that's why we created profiles to maintain our transparency. So at all times, you can easily see what us developers are actually holding and how we are doing the payouts. Of course, we voted already on dev payouts, but everything is going to be up for revote at the end of October. So the, depending on how fast everything goes, there will be proposals probably at least every week. There is a referral, so we don't have any advocates yet, right? But be the first by sharing this referral link and earn 3% of every contribution. So if we receive any contributions from you using this referral link, you'll get 3% of that. So that's a pretty cool thing there. And then here's a group chat where we can all chat about proposals, discuss all of that. Of course, we do run most of this through the DLA Discord. And then the final vote and proposal usually is one big proposal put into the DAO here for actual voting and for the finalization. So you definitely want to be in our Discord if you can. We do do different little things for people who are active and voting. Now, there's not staking yet. But there's going to be a distribution function soon that we will be able to distribute out rewards, not just in DLA token, but other currencies as well. Whether we launch a traditional staking method or we do this distributions, the plan was always to pay out only a certain amount of years of DLA token, three years or until the fund ran out first for staking rewards and then the actual excess from the revenues of the DAO would be paid out to token holders whether it be in Solana from the EVIO scholarship programs or you know tender token or UST from the Thunderland scholarship programs whatever the case may be the plan is to give back excess to all of our token holders and that also should incentivize um, people to want to hold DLA token along with uh, other things that we'll be doing. But that's pretty much it for this. That is the whole setup to get started. If you have any trouble, just reach out to us in the DLA Discord. The link is in the link tree in the description below. 
appreciate everybody joining us as always. And if you're not a member already, welcome to DLA Down.